Code Hello, everybody. My name is Captain Nieto. This is your bi-monthly update, your Captain's Corner. Uh, one of the questions that we've gotten since we started these uh, web episodes is, what is a part one crime? Because I always start out talking about where we are with our part one crimes. So let me explain what a part one crime is. Nationwide, we have what we call the Uniform Crime Reporting. It's a collective effort on the part of the city, county, state, tribal, and federal law enforcement agencies to prevent, present a nationwide view of crime. Agencies throughout the country participate in the Uniform Crime Reporting, or the UCR as we call it, program to provide summarized reports on eight Part 1 offenses known to law enforcement and reports on persons arrested. So that begs the question, what are Part 1 crimes? So let me talk about the eight categories, what we call Part 1 crimes. Part 1 crimes consist of criminal homicide, forcible rape, robbery, aggravated assault, burglary, theft from motor vehicle, and arson. We follow those eight categories because those are either violent crimes or serious property crimes that really affect you and the ones you love when you become victims of these crimes. We collect data on all crimes, though, because that may be your next concern, and we call everything else basically Part 2 crimes. Um, I don't report on that because there's just so many categories on Part 2 crimes, but I can assure you that we've also had a reduction in Part 2 crimes um, as we measure these things. Okay, so where are we with Part 1 crimes today? Year to date, we're at a 13.4% reduction in Part 1 crimes. So what does that mean, 13.4%? For us, that means 449 less violent and serious crimes year to date compared to last year. So thank you. The police department realizes that we cannot do these things without our partnerships with all the different groups that we work with. Again, thank you for helping out in our reductions year to date. I'd like to talk about something a little more serious that occurred several weeks ago here in Olympic Division. Many of you have called, asked questions, and had concerns regarding this incident. You know, when you join law enforcement, one of the things that we know as law enforcement professionals is that um, sometimes we put our life on the line to protect lives of other people, of the innocent people. Um, we run towards danger when everybody else runs away. So here's what happened. On October 1st, around 9.15 p.m., Two of my officers assigned here were seated in a parked, uh, in a parked unmarked police vehicle, and we were co conducting narcotic enforcement investigation around the 2900 block of Leeward Avenue. Several persons approached the officers on foot, and one male pointed his shotgun at the officers. Multiple shots were fired at both my officers, and both of my officers were injured. And at that point, an officer-involved shooting occurred. Uh, both my officers sustained injuries and were transported to local hospitals. Um, the officer, one of the officers was treated and released that night, but the other officer unfortunately had to go into surgery that evening because his wounds were more serious. I'm pleased to say though, with your prayers and thoughts, that he's home recuperating from his injuries. Later that night though, around 11 p.m., uh, two juveniles were arrested and booked for what we call 602 WIC, uh, 664 and 187 PC, which it means uh, attempt murder on a police officer. Both subjects were transported and booked at East Lake Juvenile Detention Center. Um, Force Investigation Division and our Robbery Homicide Division are investigating this very serious crime. We appreciate everyone's thoughts and prayers for our officers here in Olympic. You can contact our Community Relations Office at 213-382-9130, and they'll inform you of the things that we've set up for both officers uh, since this very tragic incident occurred. So what can you do to help reduce crime this week? As I always say, um, I always quote Edmund Burke, the philosopher, the only thing necessary for evil to triumph is for good men to do nothing. So here's how you can help. The LAPD has what we call an I Watch, I Report, I Keep You Safe program, or I Watch. It's a community awareness program created to educate the public about behaviors and activities that may have a connection to terrorism. This program is a community program to help your neighborhood stay safe from terrorist attacks. It's a partnership between your community 
and the Los Angeles Police Department, and we must work together to prevent these type of incidents. If you'd like to learn more about the iWatch program and about the behaviors and activities that you should report, you can view videos at the lapdonline.org um, iWatch icon. Just go to the lapdonline.org website. You'll see the iWatch icon to the right side of your screen. Click on the iWatch symbol, and you can read and download brochures that are available that explain this program in English, Spanish, and Korean. You also have an opportunity to watch videos that explain the suspicious behaviors and things that you should re be reporting to the police department. On a happy note, Olympic will be holding its annual Fall Halloween Carnival on October 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. This carnival benefits our youth programs here at Olympic Division. The carnival will be on Olympic Boulevard directly north of our station. If you're interested in purchasing tickets for this event, you can call the Crow Office during normal business hours. Until our next Captain's Corner, have a great day. 20 SL 716 Pico in Manhattan.